Hi, this is Cerise Rennie Murphy, author of the Order of the Seers trilogy, and I just wanted to say hello and surprise. It's been so long since I had a chance to talk to you guys, and I know I haven't updated my blog in forever, and I've just kind of been in my writing cave, but uh, since Order of the Seers, the first final or the first complete draft is uh, finished, uh, I thought I could just take a breather and just kind of talk to you guys for a minute about what I'm up to and what you can look forward to in uh, The Red Order, which comes out in June uh, of this year, 2013, in the summer. I'm so excited to get it to you guys. Um, but I wanted to back up for a minute and just talk a little bit about um, the process of how you put together a book, or at least what my process is, uh, and getting the red order to you. It's taken a long time, and some of you have waited, gosh, some of you have waited over two years, and I am and I haven't gotten one like nasty email, so thank you so much for your patience. That just means so much to me. Um, but anyway, I want to talk to you a little bit about the process and why it takes so long to get, um, get you a book sometimes, at least from me. Um, I start out with a chapter outline. Uh, well, first of all, I start out with a story outline, just sort of what's going to happen. When I first started writing Order of the Seers, I didn't think it was going to be a trilogy. Um, and then about halfway through, I thought, oh my gosh, this story has more to tell. And I stopped at that point and then wrote out a complete story outline of the three books. Uh, so yes, I know how it's going to end. Um, but, uh, and then broke that outline down into the first book, which I then uh, turned into a chapter outline. And then I write, I start writing from the chapter outline. And that's so helpful for somebody like me because I forget things, um, can get distracted, you know, life as, as any, everybody does. And, um, with all of the sort of twists and turns and characters, and I really need to keep everything straight. So the chapter outline is essential, and I don't start writing um, the story until the chapter outline is finished, and I have a clear roadmap of not only what's going to happen in this story, but the chapter outline really tells me how that story is going to unfold. Um, and then there are even more surprises when I start writing each chapter, but I need to know where I'm going to end up from the start. Not every writer is like that, I understand, but this one definitely is. I, I couldn't. I, yeah, I'd just be lost with that one. So anyway, so then I start writing, and it takes forever because I'm a very slow writer. I can write if I'm not distracted or the kids aren't sick or something else doesn't happen. I can write about a chapter a week. Um, that's probably it. And then I usually need at least a day or half a day um, after I finish writing the chapter just sort of clear my mind and distance myself so that when I come back and reread it, I'm fresh and I can see not just what I what I think I, re I wrote, but what I actually wrote, which oftentimes can be very, very different. And then from there, I uh, send it over to my first editor, Jessica, who uh, has been working with me ever since I was writing fan fiction. Um, and it's just, I, I couldn't imagine doing a story without her. Um, so she does the first sort of editing run through of each chapter as I'm writing it. She has the chapter outline so she knows where I'm trying to go and each chapter she assesses for sort of internal integrity, you know, is, grammatically is it okay, does the chapter make sense, but also how is this chapter going to fit into the story that I'm telling so that I don't end up at the end of the story and then find out that I have this huge gaping hole in the middle of my story. Um, so Jessica is essential, and she's the reason why after, um, even though I'm at the end of uh, the Red Order and we don't have it, you know, out in the street yet, um, you know, I'm, I'm fairly sure there aren't any major holes in it. Um, and Jessica really uh, keeps the integrity of the story um, you know, she's there to check the integrity of the story as I'm writing it so that I don't hopefully miss anything that you will then write me an angry email about if you don't, <laughs> if it doesn't make sense. Um, 
And so we go through the whole book like that. I write a chapter, I send it to Jessica, she sends it back to me with questions, comments, you know, general editing stuff. Um, if there's anything that I revise, I revise it and then either send it back to her or talk to her about it and then move on to the next chapter. Uh, so once that's done, um, I send it to the second round of editing and I have a, a wonderful editor by the name of Stephanie Carnes, who then takes the entire book. She does not have the chapter outlined, so she doesn't know where I'm trying to go when she gets the book, uh, which is important because you need, I need that third party sort of objectivity and to make sure that not only the story makes sense to Jessica and I, but the story makes sense to someone who doesn't have a roadmap. And that is Stephanie's job. She does uh, the final edit editing and polishing, um, and uh, also I get a fresh perspective on the story and make sure that it's really all holding together. Um, she gives me comments and then I uh, take those comments, revise accordingly, and that produces what we have now, which is the first final draft. <laughs> there, there will be several because then I'm taking uh, about a week or two off and then I read the book again. And Jessica's also going to be reading it, and then Stephanie will read it again to make sure that, um, you know, we dotted every I and crossed every T and made sure that the story really has everything that it needs to be worthy of you. And that's where I am right now. Um, with the edits that we have so far, we I produced something that we call, let's see if you can see this, the Advanced Reader Copy. Uh, this is the one that uh, we generated for Order of the Sears. Um, and then this goes out to all the fine folks who review books. Um, bloggers, well, I'm an independent author, so there aren't too many periodicals um, that are going to review my book. But there are one, thankfully, there's a wonderful blogger community um, that is open to um, independent authors. So um, I'm sending those out. I will be running a contest soon. Um, that you'll find out on my blog and Facebook, and I'll tweet about it, um, for our wonderful readers who might want uh, to win an advanced reader copy. And you will get these before anybody else. So um, in the next couple weeks, as soon as I get this printed uh, for the Red Order, um, I will be holding a contest, and uh, I'm not sure how many I'll send out. I don't know, at least at least three to five, maybe? Uh, we'll see. Um so that uh, you guys can get a chance to be the first to read and comment on it. And, um, and then from uh, Jessica's read, my read, and Stephanie's read, and if you email me back and you're like, whoa, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense, um, I will revise the advanced reader copy, make final, final, final edits, and then that gets sent to the printer, and that's what's available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble uh, June 18th. So that is the process uh, that, uh, that I'm going through. Uh, in the meantime, uh, there's tons of promo stuff to set up, um, giveaways and contests and uh, book blog tours and all that good stuff. So it's a very busy time, um, but I'm, I'm just so grateful to be past the writing stage of the Red Order because it, like, it feels like it was a long time to you, believe me. It feels like a really, really long time to me, but I'm, I'm just so grateful to be on this side of the storytelling because I'm really close to sharing it with you. And I, I love the book. I love the book. Um, there's definitely more action adventure. There's definitely a sort of an international feel to it, which I'm really excited about. Most of the places uh, that you'll uh, see our favorite characters visiting in the Red Order are places that I've been to personally. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited to share it with you. Uh, you get to really know our villains a lot better in this book, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't think... I try to do Crane Justice in Order of the Seers, but in the Red Order, you... Well, he is revealed. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. Um, and also, you, you get to see all your favorite Seers and uh, what they're up to and... And you get to see them, I think, grow a lot in this book um, from sort of individual people trying to find themselves to this family uh, that really then has 
a larger mission and comes together around that that mission and that purpose. So I'm just so excited. I hope you like it. Um, and I will try not to be such a stranger. In the meantime, I hope you are doing very, very well. And I will talk to you again soon. Take care.